Here, you can see the trip coil. This contact is a normally open NO contact of the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker. And this is the normally closed NC contact of the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker. So when the circuit breaker is in the open condition, this switch will be in the open position, and this switch will be in the closed position. This is the SF6 lockout contact. When the SF6 gas pressure is normal, or above the trip limit, this contact will remain in the closed position. And when the circuit breaker is in the closed condition, that switch NO will be closed, and the NC contact will be open. Now, this is the local remote switch. Currently, the switch is set to a remote, so you can operate the circuit breaker from the control room. If it is set to the local side, then by pressing this push button or rotating the associated tripping switch, the DC voltage, meaning local DC voltage, will come to the tripping coil following this path. Since the SF6 gas is at normal pressure, that contact will be closed, allowing the negative potential to reach the coil terminal. As a result, the coil will be energized and it will trip the circuit breaker. What's your understanding here? From the tripping circuit, we can clearly see that there are two conditions to be fulfilled for tripping of the circuit breaker. One is that the circuit breaker must be in the closed position. If the circuit breaker is in the closed position, then only this auxiliary switch contact of the circuit breaker will also be in the closed position. This NO, normally open, contact of the auxiliary switch of the circuit breaker is in a closed condition. And if the pressure of the SF6 gas in the circuit breaker is above the lockout pressure, then the SF6 lockout contact will also be in the closed position. If these two contacts are in the closed position, and the local remote switch is in local position, then only by pressing the local trip push button, we can trip the circuit breaker. This is the pre-closed supervision terminal, which means when the circuit breaker is in the open condition, then through this path, the pre-closed supervision indication on the control panel is connected. Because when the circuit breaker is in the open condition, these auxiliary contacts will be in the closed condition. This is the post-closed supervision, because after closing the circuit breaker, this contact will be in the open condition. So this path will not give the supervision signal because it will be open. In that case, we will get the signal from this path. Now come to the closing circuit. 